the Taj Mahal, the world's greatest monument to love. Built for Mumtaz Mahal, wife of Emperor Shah Jahan. But few know that before the Taj, she was first buried elsewhere. The drama of Mumtaz's life and tragic death was enacted in central India, on the road south in the Mughal outpost of Khandesh. Here, in the shadow of the stronghold of Asirgarh, lies Buranpur, the gateway to the Deccan Plateau. Buranpur Shahi Kila, on the banks of the Tapti River, was among the mightiest forts of medieval India. Buranpur was the key city for Mughal expansion in the south. It was the foothold, it was access to lands beyond the Vindhyas. Today, the ruins of the Shahi Kila tell a story of erstwhile grandeur. This was where Shah Jahan spent many years as the Mughal governor before he ascended the throne in 1628. Buranpur is located on the edge of the Deccan Plateau, a region that the Mughals fought hard to conquer. In 1631, the Mughal royal family had accompanied Emperor Shah Jahan while he was in a military campaign to the Deccan. Mumtaz Mahal was expecting her 14th child then. Mughal emperors were emperors after all, with appetites of emperors. Their harems would have upwards of 300 women in them. But definitely the relationship between Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal was one very, very special. Mumtaz Mahal was his principal wife, confidant, lover, she was his friend. Shah Jahan acknowledged her with the title of Malikai Jahan, or Queen of the World. The Shahi Kila is said to have been built over seven levels. Only four are clearly visible today. Here there are glimpses of the aesthetics that Shah Jahan and his builders would become famous for later. The royal hammam, or bathhouse, was believed to have been built for Mumtaz Mahal. You see the patterns, you see the colours, and you recognise the fact that this must have been the testing ground for what later on became the incredible Taj Mahal. On the opposite bank of the river Tapti are other elegant Mughal structures. A kilometre away, beyond a forgotten imperial gateway, lies the Ahu Khana. The 70-acre expanse contained a pleasure palace and a baradari, or a 12-pillared pavilion. The two structures were connected by water channels that emptied into large pools. 400 years ago, this walled garden would have looked very different. Despite being almost constantly at war, Mughal emperors found time for the pleasures of life. But for Shah Jahan, happiness would prove elusive. Mumtaz's labor had stretched over one full day. This was her 14th child. With each delivery, her body had weakened. After almost 36 hours, Princess Goharara Begum entered this world. But the joy would be short-lived and came at a terrible price. Soon after the birth, there was an emergency. Shah Jahan was called to the scene. What he saw confirmed his worst fears. All the empire's riches would not save Mumtaz Mahal. Malika e Jahan.
Court historians have recorded that Shah Jahan sat by Mumtaz's bedside till the very end. Legend has it that the dying Mumtaz asked her husband to build her a magnificent tomb unrivaled in the world. But we will never know for sure. Shah Jahan sat with her till the early hours of that morning. Until his childhood companion, his beloved wife, slowly faded away. By all historical accounts, Shah Jahan's grief was intense. He receded from public life. The location for the grand tomb that was to be the Taj Mahal was yet to be decided. Meanwhile, Mumtaz's body was embalmed and given an interim burial at Burhanpur. But where? The answer is still unclear. Some claim that she was buried in the Ahu Khana, the pleasure palace by the Tapti. But others point to this forgotten structure a few hundred meters away. Here, at the end of a tunnel, lies a chamber at the center of the structure. It lies vacant. Could this be where Mumtaz Mahal, Empress of Hindustan, was first laid to rest? Was it from here that her remains made the journey to Agra? and 22 years later, were finally entombed in the Taj Mahal. Perhaps some mysteries shall forever lie shrouded in the mists of time. <laughs>